The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. FreeDomainRadio.com is his website. Stefan Molina. We're going to continue with your phone calls uh, with uh, Todd and everybody else that's holding after we do our review of House of Cards that I've not watched yet, but I know this whole global system is a House of Cards. Uh, that when it comes down, we don't want to be crushed by. That's what this is all about, is putting out our ideas so that when it all collapses, people know that we were right, and there's an alternative to this system uh, that we've been under, uh, and we can have a new renaissance, a new enlightenment. Before I go any further, we have some amazing specials going right now at InfoWarsStore.com. We have the entire family a Pro Pure, Pro One, 2.0 systems that cut out the fluoride, the glyphosates. I carry the Pro Pure systems because it's the best gravity fed stainless steel system out there. It blows the competition away, side by side comparisons, and it costs the same or less as its leading competitor. Pro One available at InfoWarsStore.com and stop drinking the Roundup, stop drinking the hydrofluorosilicic acid and the BPA and all the crap that's in the water. Whether you got well water, you name it, rainwater, you need to filter your water. It's a win-win and then it funds this operation, our free speech. It does tens of thousands of gallons for the smaller filters, even more with the bigger ones. They've got a pitcher model 
uh, that is incredibly inexpensive, the same price as a charcoal filter that doesn't cut anything out, just flavor, cuts out, you know, bad stuff that tastes bad. This this has filters in it that actually cuts it all out. It's, it's just an amazing system. You know, I didn't sell filters for a couple of years just because I couldn't find them that were good enough. We'd have customer service complaints, problems. I don't know what was going on, but we carry a couple brands. Pro One's the best that we've gotten great reviews from and that I use. We have the Life Straw uh, at the lowest price that we're allowed to advertise it for. And your purchase makes the transmission possible. So all your water filter needs, InfoWarsStore.com or call toll free, 888-253-3139. And we're funding our whole operation here um, off of uh, the support of viewers like you through free association. Not a gun to your head like the IRS, taking your money and giving it to state-run media. We're here saying, hey, we carry great products. If you believe in them, buy them. If you believe in what we're doing, support us. I mean, take the Super Mel Vitality with eight concentrated organic herbs known to help block estrogen mimickers. I mean, the people take it, they're just completely blown away. I mean, look at me, I was like a fat slob. And I still am somewhat of a job of the hut. I mean, I got a little bit of a pot belly left, folks. But, I mean, I've lost a ton of weight. Everybody can see it. I mean, I'm in here, camera adds 10 pounds to you. But, I mean, I'm getting ready to take some photos with the shirt off, folks. I've lost a ton of weight. And it's given me the stamina, the energy to do it, along with the other great supplements we have at InfoWarsLife.com. 15% off. We're still running that special because it's been so popular. We sold out, but more came in. InfoWarsLife.com, it's always on the same store. Just That just takes you right to it on InfoWarsLife.com, on InfoWarsStore.com, or call toll-free 888-253-3139. And regardless, when you get the Survival Shield, the Fluoride Shield Detoxifier, the Super Mel Vitality, all of it, it funds our operation. So you win, period, through free association. That's what it's all about, voting for organic food by buying organic food. You then displace all the inorganic food to where those people are going bankrupt. Uh, it's, it's, it's the power of voting with choice, and that's what we rely on and what has sustained us and why the system is trying to wreck the free market, the remnants of it, that's still empowering civilization and society. So you can also call the toll-free number for any questions or to order via telephone, the T-shirts, the books, the films, the Molon Labe, 888 Two five three three one three nine eight 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 two five three three one three nine, and when you go over and watch the podcast with Stefan Molyneux on his site, that's supporting the free market of ideas. When you pass on his podcast, when you pass on our podcast, when you tell friends and family about the d different radio shows and books, all of that is little individual actions. We're not in some vacuum. We're just the kleptocrats and people that think in gang mentality who aren't creative and gang up to rob us that are creative. We're better than them when we take the field. We, our ideas win. I've experienced it. And there are a lot more articulate, better folks than me out there who just don't have confidence in themselves. I've been on air 19 years from nowhere, folks. With free association, we reach 3 million people. That's a conservative number. Every day. And we're growing. And, and, and freedom is popular. And we can legalize freedom, as Ron Paul says. We can have a debate about what freedom is. Total anarchic capitalism like Stefan Molyneux or me just saying, hey, I want my republic back. It's better than being run by foreign banks. Just don't blame the republic as they do for what our society's turned into. Now, I'm going to go back to calls. But if you want to comment on voting with our dollars, I'd like to get that. And then I've never heard such a buzz. Uh, as about House of Cards and people on the street going, it's what you say about them. And I don't know how it's on Netflix, but that shows the model of a Netflix platform, five years old, dominating everything. 100 million viewers a week, that show alone. I keep telling people, don't try to go to Hollywood to be successful. Go make your own film with passion, yep. and, and, and it'll pay for itself, and the next film will make money. But so many people just want to go make it and be rich with no passion and then they'll be a bling bling hip-hop star or, or, or they'll be a movie star not getting that the journey is the destination so house of cards with a 9.0 rating on imdb almost unheard of what is your take on this phenomenon well it's free market art it's art without a license because it's coming through netflix it's coming over, there's no fcc there's nothing like that and I had a guy on talking about a good documentary called Divorce Court about family courts and just how unbelievably predation, uh, what predation they have, particularly on the American male and the divorce situation. And he was pointing out like no TV studio can accurately portray ju judicial corruption. 
because networks are getting sued all the time and the last thing they want to do is piss off judges because they're going to sit in front of some judge who's going to remember them and judge against them, right? So this is Netflix streaming directly through the internet, bypassing the FCC, bypassing the regulators. And so they can put out an honest to goodness portrayal of, I think, what politics looks like. You compare this to something like the West Wing, which was Aaron Sorkin's drama about Democrats in the White House, which was state humping demo porn from you know a couple of decades ago. This is the true face of politics. This is the backstabbing, the the evil, the monstrosity, the hypocrisy. I mean, it's like Othello where you had Iago as the bad guy making Othello into a bad guy, but there's no good guy in this whole thing. And it's the Democrats. Because normally you get left wing writers if they have to portray bad people in politics, they make them Republicans. But these are Democrats and it is showing just how corrupt the system is, how unsustainable the system is. Uh, and it's not even backroom deals for the sake of any advancing agenda. Like it's not like they want to do good things and they have to regretfully do bad things to get those good things going. They only pretend they want to do good things in order to advance their own personal power and agenda. And I think that is an accurate view and I think it's going to really color and condition particularly young people's view of what it is to be in politics and what the government really looks like from the inside. I think it's very powerful. But you said it yourself, because I talked to a lot of people that say, man, this is really accurate. And and by the way, this is what you're saying about the government, Alex. It, 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 it's a sign that the whole wall of Hollywood control is imploding. I was talking about this the last few months and I've had a lot of big Hollywood people and rock stars contact me. And, and, and say, man, you don't know how true what you're saying is. When I'm out in Hollywood, and I've been to a lot of big A-list parties and stuff back when I would even go do that. Because I, now I realize nothing ever really comes of it, so why go out there? Because I used to go out there to be on big national TV shows, and that doesn't really do anything, so what's the point? But I would go out there, and people weren't liberal. They weren't conservative. They were libertarian. They know the system's a fraud. They want freedom for their kids. They know GMO's bad. They're liberal on some issues, conservative on others, those traditional issues. They've all got guns, uh, even if they claim they're anti-gun, because the studio won't put you on if you don't toe the line. And the few people that would come on my show literally would get called in and told you're never going to work again if you don't stop that. Yep. If you want to be part of a libertarian group, you've got to be literally in a secret society in Hollywood. But the truth is, because they haven't let them be libertarian, or what they call conspiracy theorists, people that question known liars, the hottest thing for, I don't know, eight years, it was about eight years ago, I know, that's where I'm getting invited out there a lot by a lot of people. It was just a few folks that were willing to go on the show. Uh, and I'm telling you, across the board, but some of them like Brad Pitt or Angelina, Lo, uh, Angelina Jolie that I know woke up and saw my films and Aaron Russo's, I'll leave it at that, and were awake, they got freaked out and went and joined the UN. See, some of them go, okay, it is all rigged. I will literally go sell out to it. Sure. Or they argue, well, I'll do more better you know, inside the system. Yeah, yeah. But, but what I'm saying is the whole facade of Sumner Redstone and all these top lawyers and people that I've had meetings with literally is about keeping people on the plantation and mind control to keep Hollywood under the fake liberal progressive authoritarianism. The facade has already fallen. Yep. And they're now figuring out they can go out and say and do what they want. And I'm telling you, House of Cards, I believe, is then going to be seen as the dam breaking. So I want to declare they're dead. Hollywood, as the L.A. mayor said a few months ago, is, quote, in an emergency and is bankrupt yep. and is in a crisis. You, you bet. It's over. Yeah, it's over. It's over for them. And mainstream media is over. The dinosaur media is over. But the next thing to fully implode, I'm saying, is Hollywood. And now they're finally desperate. Where Man of Steel is decentralized anti-eugenics. And uh, movies like Nut Job or Anti-Agenda 21. Now suddenly, or the Lego movie is yep. libertarian. Yeah. Uh, Suddenly, though, in their death throes, they're allowing the directors, because I've talked to some of them, to actually go, go be pro-liberty. And those are the only films that are making it now. So instead of Hollywood just collapsing, they can either collapse or Hollywood can make the decision to survive and join with liberty. But they've now reached that tipping point. What do you think is going to happen? Well, they'll follow the dollar. This is what you were saying with the, when talking about the products that you sell. You know, 
everything you subsidize grows and everything you don't subsidize shrinks. So uh, I mean, in terms of giving money to people, right? So whatever you subsidize is going to grow. So yeah, if people want libertarian messages, then the people in Hollywood will, will change to reflect that. Don't go and spend your money on stuff that promotes an immoral agenda. It's very fundamental. You know, you vote. They've been wagging the dog here. Yeah, it's time for us to wag them. You vote with the dollar. I mean, in House of Cards, I, I'm not going to give any spoilers, so I'll panic about that. The rich guy says to the vice president, you are about to make an enemy of a man with $40 billion. And he says, what do I care about your money? I have the guys with all the guns. That is a very powerful statement to come out of mainstream media, or at least as mainstream as it's going to get. That is an incredibly powerful statement to come out. He's saying, I 